tastes. Fill up the stein there. Some bratwurst and like some pretzels, you know. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Thirsty Thursdays here on Jetfire TV. So October is here, and what better way to dive into the spirit of the season than with Oktoberfest, a German style lager by the Ale Smith Brewing Company. <laughs> Okay, but before we jump into that, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below so you never miss out on a future Thirsty Thursday. Okay, so we got this Oktoberfest beer. We're kicking off the season. We'll probably do a couple other like creepy Halloween themed beers for the rest of the month. So it says it's by Ale Smith Brewing Company. It has San Diego, California. It says German style Marzen Lager. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. It has two dots above the A. 5.5% alcohol. It says it's their take on a classic Oktoberfest offering. That's actually really cool. I've never seen that on a can. It says serving temperature and it has it at 45 to 50 degrees. And then it says glassware Stein. So we got the Stein. Okay, that's pretty much it. To the can you guys can see it has some cool like gold and blue color themes reminds me a little bit of like ucla ale smith it's got their brand right here on the side so let's go ahead and crack it open we got our stein right here and we're gonna go ahead and get it pouring y'all okay just off the first smell it smells like a beer like a lager classic lager Yes, sir. Oh, let's hit the port. Okay, you guys. So I got it. Kind of messed up the pour a little. But it's not as bad as that wafer. What the heck? Like, you could see that this is going down quick. Okay, and I actually got another can so we can get the full pint, you know? I fill up the stein there. All right, so let's that, let that foam go down a little bit. Okay, just off looking at it, it's definitely darker than I thought, first impressions. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's almost like an amber color, but we all know it's not the looks that matter, it's the tastes. Without further ado, let's hit the taste test. Okay, it's cool, man. I like it. It's got a good um, beer taste, classic. No like bad aftertaste. That's good beer. You could taste the hops. It's got a little bitterness to the hops, but like maybe almost like up front, I got like a little bit of a, let me give it another taste. Yeah, it's not too, not too much sweet. There's a balance to it. It's got a bold, like, toastiness. Kind of like a Heineken. It's close. That's kind of what it reminds me of. I can see it going good with some bratwurst and, like, some pretzels, you know. Oktoberfest, it's more like a tradition, you know. It's not even just about the beers. So I think Alesmith did a good job of capturing, like, the spirit of Oktoberfest. It's pretty good. It's really good, actually. I know they do an Oktoberfest in my area. I might have to check that out. Maybe do something, do a stream there. You guys go ahead and leave that in the comments if that's something you guys would like to see. Okay, the official rating, you guys. I would give this beer like a solid 7.5. Better than average beer. Packs a punch, you know? And it goes down smooth. If you're a fan of German beers, you're definitely going to like this one. So 7.5 for the Oktoberfest to kick off the month, you guys. Yeah, so in conclusion, I would say the Oktoberfest was a go. If you guys like German beers, check it out. It definitely has the heart of the season in it. So that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. So cheers, you guys, to the tradition and the magic of Oktoberfest. Stay thirsty, and I'll see you next Thursday.